I'm Diane Robertson and this is my co-host Jeremy Wood and this is Just Down the Road. Today we're at Legoland in Sea Life, a couple of the newest attractions in downtown Kansas City right across the street from Crown Center and we're going to show it all to you right here on Just Down the Road. when I found out we were going to Legoland and Sea Life. I mean, wouldn't you be? It's a jackpot right down there in Crown Center. Everything's there. It's fun. I was a little boy at one time. I know, hard to imagine. Uh, when I was, uh, Legos occupied some of my playing time, probably just like many other little boys all across the country. Uh, and when I heard that Legoland and Sea Life was coming to Kansas City, I knew it was somewhere we had to feature on the show. Once you check in and they give you your pass, tickets, what have you, then you walk in these elevators and you uh, go up a floor and the doors open on the other side and you walk into this educational area it's great and it shows the Legos and how they were birthed and started and the whole thing and the master builder window is in there too. You know of course what's going to happen here. Jeremy's with me at this point. We catch up. We see the master builder window area and he goes nuts. He tries to break into the place. He's banging on the door. He's got to get in. Oh my goodness, it was embarrassing. I saw an opportunity to introduce myself uh, and uh, maybe make a new friend in Jeremiah. So I politely knocked on the door, went in, introduced myself, and then challenged him to a build-off. Here you go, just like it was. There Can you I go. help you? Yeah, I was just curious. I was walking by, wondered what you guys do in here. Well, I'm the master model builder here at Legoland. Interesting that you say that. For I, too, am a master. How did you get that job? Well, I uh, won a series of competitions and beat everybody else in Kansas City to earn my job. Oh, that's only partly true, Jeremiah, as your name tag says. For you did not beat me. <laughs> well, I think I probably could. Sounds like it's time for a build-off. All right, girls, you know the rules. No biting, no, <laughs> stop it. You're gonna build, you got 30 minutes. Whoever has the best, most creative is the master builder, right? All right. Get your little boxes, get your Legos, Thank get ready. You. How do we, how do we determine the winner here? Well, how about we have the uh, people in Legoland decide? <laughs> That's cute, Jeremiah, you're precious. But they'll clearly be, <laughs> they'll clearly be biased for you, so we can't do that. Well, then how about Diane? That's, that's even funnier because Diane will clearly be biased for you. So I did hear over at Sea Life, though, they have a psychic octopus. I think that would be a fair way to determine the winner, right? All right. All right, Jeremiah. In the famous words of Yvonne Drago, I must make you. Lego Master. Bill Hall. Tale of the Tape. Diane, what I have constructed here is a super bionic sleigh for Santa. No need for reindeers here. We've got the big rocket boosters, lasers on the front with the trigger here so he can shoot anybody trying to steal the toys. All right, excellent. Jeremiah? Took me five minutes. Uh, Diane, I made Iron Man. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if you like movies. <laughs> Don't
done with the tour and learning how Legos are made, you get to weigh yourself, see how much you weigh in Lego bricks, how tall you'd be in Lego bricks. You go through a door and you're ready for the first attraction of Legoland, which is Kingdom Quest. And it's kind of a ride of sorts. You go in this little car, it takes you through an obstacle course, and you get to shoot at bad guys. The whole objective is you're trying to rescue the princess, which of course I did, and have done many times in my life in real life circumstances. And you have guns and you shoot laser arrows at everything, and uh, you know who was just going crazy like it was Armageddon, shooting everything in sight. <laughs> they give you fully loaded guns and live targets to shoot at while you're in here, so. They are not live. Let's see what we can do. Uh. Scoreboards right here. This will be Diane, that'll be me. Or you can usually tell the ones apart by which one has the most, which should be mine. <laughs> it's not on yet. <laughs> I'm up by 12,000. <laughs> Don't shoot the good guys. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just shooting anything. Woo! Woo! I believe I've saved the princess. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good sir. We have found our pictures. Look. Yeah, they take your picture uh, as you're going through and you can keep that as a souvenir, but they serve as a very good training tool. And I think what you can see here, Diane, yeah. is clearly a lackadaisical approach to saving the princess and laser sharp focus. Amateur, marksman. Come on. Idiot, champion. Come on. After I completely rocked Kingdom's Quest, and I'm talking rocked it, I mean the employees, a lot of people around were like, you know, watching you with that gun was like watching a master painter in action. It was amazing. I thanked them, of course. But then we moved on to Miniland, and Miniland is this gigantic room with a bunch of minis. Uh, go figure. It features in miniature everything from the Plaza to Crown Center and all the stadiums to the Kauffman Center, of which, you know, by request, I sang uh, <coughs> there. Thank you. And at the very end is the Wizard of Oz, a huge uh, mini of Oz and um, Emerald City. It's beautiful. I am Oz, the great and powerful. As you can imagine, uh, kicking master builders' butts, uh, rescuing princesses, and touring the city, miniature version, uh, works up quite an appetite. So right after you come out of Miniland, you're right there in the Legoland Cafe. We had some pizzas and some sodas, it was delicious, and they have thought this out very well because there's a little area to the side that has thousands of Legos in it and your kids can play until it's time to eat. They thought that out well. I think every house actually ought to have a little Lego center in the corner. We went into the 4D cinema. I did, I said 4D because boy, not only is it coming at you from the screen, but you know, there's rain and air and all this stuff blowing around. It was very fun. It's worth your time. The next ride in Legoland was another place for me to show off some physical prowess. This is Merlin's Apprentice. It's kind of a little merry-go-round, if you will. You get in it, uh, it has bicycle pedals, and the faster you pedal, the higher your little lift goes. And I have to say, uh, thanks to the power in the quads, if you will, uh, Diane and I were literally flying head and shoulders above all the kids that were on this ride. It was really quite embarrassing for them, I'm sure. So for those of you that are uh, not as skilled as, say, me, I, I happen to be a master builder, yes, here course. at Legoland they have the Lego Master Builder Academy. They have these classes where you can go in there and they have somebody that's um, not quite as good as me teaching you how to build this stuff. So I'm going in. Uh, you I'm should, learning. You should go in. Yeah. You, I, you don't need to go in there. I'm going in. <laughs> I don't need it, so I'm, I'm going to go ride some more rides. So, of course, I attended. And, you know, Jeremy, I don't need to go. I know it all. I'm a master. I'm a master. Well, people, this came back to bite him. Ugh. Well, in Legoland, there's this giant play area where the kids can go run through slides and tunnels and stuff like that. There's a karaoke and earthquake center where you build up a really tall Lego structure and an earthquake shakes it to see if it'll withstand it. And then there's the racers build and test area. And there was a little misunderstanding here. Diane and I did this. You, you build up your car with Legos and race it and time it and all that stuff and compete. Um, but a little misunderstanding on my part. I didn't understand the specs of the car that we were supposed to be building. So 
For those of you that see Diane win this, don't worry. It's just one of those times where a little misunderstanding got between me and victory, but it won't happen again. And remember when the wise woman earlier, me, said this was gonna come back and bite him, here it is, love it. Okay, Diane, I'd like to remind you that you invited this upon yourself. You're always complaining that I embarrass you on the show. Well, that's for sure. So here we go. We're at the racetrack. Elliot's going to push the button to ensure fairness. There's my little speedster. Very Took nice. Took me a couple yeah. minutes to Here's make it. Here's mine. Oh, now, yeah, wait a minute. All right. I don't Let think me get that's... my chassis figured I out. I, but this might not <laughs> be right, fair. I didn't see. think we were using yeah, the we're big ready. wheels. Okay. Okay, Elliot's 2 1. Come on, come on, come on, okay, come on, come on, please. Go. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. No, 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 straight. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me some high up. High up, yeah, man. Of course, as you exit Legoland, there is a gift shop that you go through. And if you're a Lego person, literally everything you could ever want is in here. I'm talking the Star Wars stuff, the Indiana Jones stuff, the Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. It is all there. And then if you're just wanting to do something from scratch, you can go buy a bunch of bricks, put them in a bag, and get them for not a bad price. Uh, so anything and everything you could want is in the Legoland gift shop. Check it out. People, if you thought Legoland was great, stay tuned because Sea Life is next and it's all here on Just Down the Road. After we were done with Legoland, we ventured over into the second half of this fantastic new attraction in downtown Kansas City called Sea Life, the Kansas City Aquarium. And let me tell you, this is just amazing. For those of you that haven't been around fish or you haven't had a chance to go to the ocean or other aquariums, this is well worth it. You go in and you see every kind of sea life you could think of from the Missouri River all the way to the Gulf of Mexico and beyond. It is amazing. Let me just tell you what you're gonna see so you can just prime yourself. Not only, crystal clear waters, fish of every color, fish of every kind, sharks, stingrays, seahorses. There's all kinds of fun facts. There's people around milling that employees that are teaching you things. There's a touch pool hands-on. I'm telling you, it's good. It's a great aquarium. When we were setting everything up to film Sea Life in Legoland, they asked us to come out a little bit early uh, for Sea Life so that we could film some of the fish feeding early in the morning, you know, before the doors open to kind of show something that you wouldn't get to see normally. We thought it was because they were just, you know, anxious to show it off to Diane and me, you know, celebrities. Uh, as it turns out, though, I think they just wanted some extra help. Uh, I gotta say, I'm not really into the fishy, fishy, fishy smell. A heavy, fishy, fishy, have I mentioned it was fishy early in the morning. I pushed through though, worked out okay. It was a very unusual experience, but I really did like it. Well, because we're famous celebrities, famous. we get kind of access that you, the regular folk, don't get. <laughs> uh, so we're back here where they're feeding or getting the food ready for the fish. We thought we would share it with you. It's, it's the least we could do. We're here with David. David, explain to us what we're getting ready to see here. Okay, what you're getting ready to see is we're gonna be chopping up some of this fish. Um, we use it for broadcasting to our, our fish in our large ocean tank. Also, you guys have a TV show as well? Or? That's right. Oh, <laughs> That's right, but you didn't know that. No, I did not. You learn something every day, David. <laughs> and then we're gonna be weighing out food for our sharks and for our stingrays and Today is a squid day. They really like squid. Um, each shark gets a certain amount of food per feeding. We weigh it out, we feed them individually, and same with our big southern stingrays. So we're gonna have to portion it out and uh, get it ready for them. All right guys, well, you've seen how we do it. We got a lot of work to do, so how about you guys uh, chop up some fish for us? All right, Let's go. excellent. <sighs> Did I mention the fishy, 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 fishy smells? Well, Tough on me, but it was really bad on Jeremy. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, how are we doing here? Um, you know, uh, <coughs> it's going, it's going. Excuse me. <laughs> it's going good. Yeah, I'm not good with really strong smells in the morning. In fact, as I'm sitting here, uh, cut, cut, cut. After the feeding frenzy, we started our tour, and I gotta tell you, there are so many fish in here, you can see almost any type, 
from the Missouri River all the way to the oceans, and it is a feast of color for your eyes. You walk through the early part of it, and you're seeing all these fish that are kind of more local to us uh, in these brilliant aquariums with all this really cool lighting and colors. And then you get to the touch pool, and this is where things really get started. One of my most favorite parts of the aquarium is the touch pool, because I'm a hands-on gal, and this is Jen. Jen, tell us about it. Well, this is our touch pool. This is where we get to reach in and have friends do a one or two finger touch, or if we're kind of slow, we'll allow people to kind of have a fun time and hold them if we can have that chance. Okay. But this is a great place for everybody to learn and touch sea creatures that here in Missouri, we're in the middle of the land, so no it's oceans. a great experience right. for them. So we teach them all about our creatures. All right, let's pick something up. Okay. Maybe you're like me, maybe you thought, eh, you know, an aquarium, I'm not sure I really want to go look at a bunch of fish in a fish bowl, so to speak. Um, but you'd be wrong if that's what you thought was going on there. This is so well designed and so interactive with you and your family. Sea Life has done a very good job of incorporating you into the experience. And they have tunnels that are clear, that have the water all around you, and they have little bubbles where you can pop your head up and look, you know, 360 degrees around at everything. They've really thought it out well, and it's worth the experience. Well, I was a big fan of the crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin, and uh, still am, big fan. Love the guy, he was amazing, woo! And I've kind of held a grudge, I'm not gonna lie. Held a grudge against Stingray since his passing, but Stingray Bay did a really good job of maybe taking away some of the uh, bitterness I felt over his death, and uh, I think the Stingrays and I now live with an understanding. Jeremy, we're in Stingray Bay, and there are so many different Stingray style shapes and sizes in here. Yeah, it's really cool, and they're almost playful. They'll come right up to the side of the aquarium, show you their belly, and flap their wings around, and almost smile at you. It's kind of cool. Where we're standing is actually glass, so as you look down, all you see is Stingray fish, and even an eel or two. Pretty cool. That's great, come see it. Well, just like in Legoland, they have a kids' play area with some climby thingies and slides and tunnels, um, very interactive little sections for the kids to do some playing. They'll have an employee there that lets the kids and adults, if you want, touch the jaws of a great white shark and a sea turtle, and you see a barb of a stingray and, and a whole bunch of other bones and fossils. Uh, and it's a really good area if you're tired at this time to let the kids run and blow off some steam while you kick your feet up and relax. Without question, one of the coolest areas of sea life is the ocean tank. It's a walk-through aquarium, literally. You go through three or four tunnels, and it looks and feels like you're walking through the ocean. There's really everything in there, from the sharks to the stingrays and the jellyfish and, you know, crashed pirate ships. It's very exciting. Well, as you stand in the uh, ocean tank, literally looking into the ocean, you see all kinds of sea life here at Sea Life. But one of them that'll kind of send a, you know, a little shiver up your spine if you look into the deepest, darkest depths of the pool is a familiar shape. The music starts to play, and you realize you're in the presence of a shark. All right, we're right over the top of the ocean tank, and beneath us are all the stingrays, the fish, and yes, even the sharks. And we're here to feed them. Normally you wouldn't get to see this, but again, the power of celebrity, Diane and I bring this to you via Just Down the Road. You are welcome. One of the highlights of the day was the shark feeding. Man, uh, there's just nothing quite like watching the jaws of a shark snap over its prey. Even if they're little young ones at this time, they still are extremely powerful and you can see what exactly they were built for. It was, uh, it was really cool.
Legoland. We've been at Legoland and Sea Life, and now we're amongst the fish again. Yeah, we want to thank you for watching. We've just had a great time. Hope you have too. Jump on over to our website, justdowntheroad.net, for updates on the show and uh, being able to suggest show ideas to us. If you've got a place you'd like to see featured on the show, just let us know. You can email Diane and me directly. Hey, you can also go to our Facebook page and uh, like us because we like people to like us. Yes, we're insecure that way. That's right. So for Diane Robertson, this is Jeremy Wood. Thanks for watching Just Down the Road. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, people, it's time to judge the Master Builder Lego Contest between Jeremy and Jeremiah. Now, our psychic octopus was to be the judge. She's fantastic, although she gave birth and uh, did not tell us this fact, so we had to change a little bit at the end. Jeremy didn't know any of this, though, and he took matters in his own hands, fearing he would lose. Of course, this is what he does. <sighs> We're hoping for a lighter sentence of maybe 7 to 10 years. Under the advice of my attorney, really more of my friend, uh, I don't know anything about some psychic octopus picking the winner between Jeremiah and me in our build-off competition. I don't know what they're talking about. And furthermore, I don't know how Jeremiah got bound and gagged and locked in the master builder room at Legoland. I had nothing to do with that. I think uh, with all that said, I should win the competition by default since he didn't show up.